Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can use CloudWatch events so that you can monitor any changes in your system state. So CloudWatch events delivers you a near real-time stream of system events. Say you have an EC2 instance and it is for some reason gone for a reboot and you want to noti get notified with the change of state from running to rebooting and then coming back to available or running state. You might use this change of state to trigger some backup actions. Say take a snapshot of all the EPS volumes attached to the EC2 instance or maybe attach it to another instance because this server is having some issues and it is rebooting. So you can, you can use this state changes for a variety of purposes. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I am going to send an SNS email notification whenever state of my server changes. So for this demo, we are going to need a couple of things. One is an EC2 server, and I already set up a simple EC2 server for this purpose. Here you see the EC2 server, which is called as CloudWatch Events Demo, and currently the state of my server is in running state. So since our server is set up, let us go ahead to the CloudWatch dashboard. This is the second step, and we are going to create an event here. So the first step in creating an event is creating a rule or in other words, when I want to event my, uh, when I want the event to happen and what is the service that I'm going to monitor here. So I'm going to say my event pattern is based on the service that is EC2, go ahead and find it. And event type is all types of events or I want to get only an instance state notification. So I'm going to in this case choose instance state notification. And if you want to get notified only for particular states, say, are running or if it is going to be happening only when it's shutting down or stopped or terminated or all of them that is also possible so go ahead and choose which one you are interested in and do you want to do that only for a particular instance or all the instances so let us go ahead and set it up for any instance and here what should happen when my state changes where should i send the notification to here on the right hand side you have targets so go ahead and click on target and I'm going to choose an SNS topic. So my L1 support team will get an email address whenever there is a state change for our server. So I've already set up my SNS topic and subscribed to the topic. And as of now, you can see here there are no emails. So let us go ahead and create our event and call this state monitor. And I'm just going to give the same description as well and keep it enabled and click on create rule. So we have created our state monitor and as of now, everything is fine. And you see here, there's still not, no alarm. Let us go ahead and change the state of our server now. So for to begin with, I'm going to click on stop state. So that is going to say that I'm going to initiate a stop and my state is immediately going to change now. So it is now stopping and very soon I should be getting an email from Amazon. So let us go to my uh, email. So you see here, if I open it, and if I go to the bottom, say, say state, it says stopping. And as soon as my server is stopped, I should be getting one more email, which says my instant state is in stopped state now. So my server has stopped. Let us go to my uh, email. And you see here, there's a new email notification from Google. So let me go ahead and click on show and you see here the state has changed to stopped now. So if I go ahead and click on terminate, I should be getting one more email from my events and which will notify me that my instance state has changed from stopped to shutting down and then finally to terminated as well. So if I go there now, you can see here there are two more messages that has come up. Let us go ahead and click on show and you can see here it was terminated. When it initiated, it was saying shutting down and finally it has reached a terminated state. So that is how you set up events in your CloudWatch and then monitor whenever state of a server changes and you can trigger some actions based on that. In this case, the action was a simple SNS notification to my support team saying that the state of the server has changed. So you can go ahead and set up complex activities, say recovery of a server, or might be a backup or might be a restoration of some other uh, activities. So if you have any trouble in setting this up, write in the comment section, I'll help you do that. Thanks for watching, happy learning.